in this tutorial we are going to study about what is ethics what are values why ethics in engineering ethics in information technology and ethics in human resource management ethics in planning benchmarking and ethics in supply chain management so what is ethics ethics is nothing but the principles of right and wrong that are accepted by an individual or a social group ethics refers to well founded standards of right and wrong and prescribes what human ought to do in terms of justice and right benefits of society now what ethics do ethics evaluates the human action or examines the human behavior the essence of ethics essence means the central meaning or theme there are two essence of ethics number 1 standards and number 2 principles to implement these standards there are five principles for implementation of standards the first one is the utilitarian approach this is the most practicable and useful approach in this approach benefit to the maximum number of individual and harm to minimum number of individuals is focused while providing the benefits to maximum number of individuals even some harm to some individuals is justified in this approach for example various government projects the second one is the rights approach in this approach main focus is on the rights of individuals that is even the rights of a single individual cannot be encroached by performing any activity as for example human right activists like anna hazare and some institutions focusing on human rights the third one is the common good approach this approach believes that life in a community is a very good life every effort should be made to strengthen the life in the community so the members of the community and society become more dependent on each other for example construction of public utility like roads community centers public toilets etc government department also adopt common good approach the fourth one is the fairness and justice approach in this approach all equals are treated equally and all unequals are treated unequally for example reservation that is given only to minorities and backward classes also the difference in pay of ceo and ordinary employees or difference in facilities of two individuals the fifth and the last one is the virtue approach this approach focuses on good habits this approach considers virtues are only good habits and vices are bad habits ethics versus morality morality is an inside perspective morality is principles concerning the distinctions between right and wrong or good and bad behavior on the other hand ethics is an outside perspective that govern a person's conducting of an activity moral values are accepted values of any individual or any organization on the other hand ethics judged on the basis of universal values 
it is possible that an action is moral but not ethical morality is the subset of ethics now what is an organization organization is nothing but an organized group of people with a particular purpose such as a business or government department there are mainly three types of organizations the one is a state or country like lok sabha rajya sabha high court the other is profit making companies like flipkart bsnl airtel amazon etc and the other type is not for profit companies like some ngos and some government schools the process or activity of running a business or an organization has been divided in four categories the first one is administration in administration a state controls citizens and there is no any role of citizens citizens just follow the rules made by states this is a one way process the second one is governance in governance a state regulates citizens and citizens can participate at policy feedback level there are mainly three types of work performed by the state during the process of governance number 1 is policy making number 2 is policy implementation and number 3 is policy feedback or policy restructuring the third type is good governance in good governance a state facilitates citizen and citizen can participate at policy feedback level and also at policy making level this is a better type of governance than the previous one and the last one is a smart governance in a smart governance a state is responsive towards citizens responsive means reacting quickly and positively if you ask any question or do any query to the government then the response will come faster this is the best type of governance in a smart governance there is citizens involvement at policy feedback level also at policy making level as well as at policy implementation level so this one is the best type of governance